Honestly, when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't really have any expectations. I didn't start off thinking, okay, I'm going to be like a really successful vlogger. I don't try to be relatable. I think I just try to be myself. But I think that's the beauty of it. It makes it kind of attainable. With the travel vlogs, it kind of does just come naturally. Like, I don't plan a destination. I really see a place for what it is. And it's really nice to be able to share, like, a real point of view of an experience. With my vlog and my channel, I like people to be able to see as much as possible because then it feels more like real life. You can't really think about the shots that you're going to do because you don't really know what you're going to do for the day or how the day is going to play out. So I just have my camera with me at all times. I guess my viewers can connect to me through my vlogs because I kind of speak to them as if it's like a friend with me on the day. I don't try and make everything look glamorous. I really like vlogging as a creative outlet. It's like writing a diary. I do it for myself, but I also do it because I think it's nice for my viewers to kind of live through my video and be able to engage with other people that are just like me.